So I found a guy here that's risen a couple of times. But I changed over to a little dry fly. <clears throat> Dad's favourite, size 14. Get in position for a cast here. That last trout wasn't showing any interest. It's not a big fish, this one. Maybe, here he goes, he coming up, is he? Yep. Maybe one and a half pound or so. Hopefully a good cast will do the job here. Oh, got him. Oh, oh. Out of those weeds, buddy. Don't want, don't want. Right down here below me. Uh oh. Control over him at the moment because he's under those weeds. If I can get him back here, I don't want to hop in. I will if I need to. I don't think I need to. Let's just get my line out of there. There we go. Oh, it's right around here now. Around his gill, I think. Come back, fish. Come on. Get him up around here. Get him up. Come on. Get him up. And then we can get him back down towards me. Go. Lovely, slow, casual take. Totally. I wasn't expecting a fly like that. Bravo! Two pounds or so. Lovely. Just a good way to start the morning. Ready, buddy? The clarity of that water is second to none. The trout, li trout line here, on that far bank, not really in a feeding position. Oh, look at that, just up to the surface to take a nymph. <laughs> so, I've got a shot. <laughs> I didn't seem to move prior to that. So, basically, just going to be casting my leader out here. Got him, gosh. <laughs> Didn't even see the take. Uh oh. Well, I did see him flinch, sort of. Oh, oh my lord's creaking. Can I hold him here? Am I going to be going down the river after him? Not a very good place to be fighting a trout, especially a decent one. That's what he does. Oh, he's... Yeah. He's going hard out for that undercut bank. He's going to test my knots. There he is, he's out. You can fight upstream all you like. You're fighting me and the current. It'll help tire you out. Oh, give and take, give and take. Give them a little bit when you need to. Well, this I haven't even thought about getting my net out. <clears throat> See if I can get them over to my side again. Close quarter buck combat, this one. Well, that fly landed like a foot in front of him. Got him. Primo. There you go, little buddy. I wasn't expecting that on Saturday morning, were ya? Okay, get him in the water until I get myself sorted here. Yeah, two and a half to two and three quarter. Okay. Oh. And that was thunder. 
I see if his mate is uh, back on feeding duties 50 metres up the river. How often does a hook come out in a net? I know I've said this before, but it's just uncanny. How often that happens? Easy just to cut my line and fit thread it through, I think. Yeah, it's still there. Make sure I don't spook a, spook a second one. Oh, is that a second one? Yeah, it looks like it. Might be another good fish up there too. So we have two targets here. It's always good to have a fallback option if you put one fish down. Like a bit of security, you know. It doesn't matter so much if you spook one fish because you've got a second one to go for anyway. They both look like good trout. I'll go for the close on one here. There's a shadow there, yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh, he turned for it. I pulled it away from him. A good three, four pound that one. Lovely. Lovely bit of trout water there. That's a good fish. Got him. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. First fish is still there. We've well, got a fight on our hands. I really want to try and get him over to my side really quickly and maybe end this fight prematurely if possible. He might not. Best way to do that is get him upstream from me. Try and get him up to the top. Like that. And hopefully, while he's doing his little surface antics, be able to um, get a hook and a net into him. Don't want to go up to spook that first trout, the original trout. Oh, here we go. Where is he? That we quite edge water there. Oh, a deep pool. Need some of the sun. Let's see what's going on. He's over there behind that bit of weed. Oh. That's where I hooked a trout earlier. That's a lovely trout. I need to get, I need to get below it. He's in under that bank. He's trying to get me off in there. Oh, he's up there, look. Don't even know he's on there. There's a trout. Did he get off? Yeah. Step back. Don't know if I freed it or not. It was a wee stick there, but it wasn't much. I got him. Got him. That was all it was, just a wee twig. He looks bigger there, doesn't he? Think this fish might be bigger than I gave him credit for. Got him! Beautiful fish. From a rod up here. 
No, I don't keep trapping the water. That's a good one. Be the uh, probably about what I originally called it. And it's not a sea runner. Lovely. Alright, a nice wee bit of quiet water for you to get away. You don't want to even hang around. He's gone into the quiet bit of water there. I thought he might get, do that. Mean. Absolutely mean. That yeah, current's moving pretty quick. It's like it's flying at two different speeds. Deep, going quicker under the water than it is on the surface as we trout moved across there. Same one that was here earlier. This is a bit of fish. A two pounder or something like that. Got him on top of that cluster. Yeah, he might be. Big one's still there. <laughs> Sweet. Whoa. Well, we don't really want to have to go back in the drink. I might be able to hold him fast here. That's a better condition trout. Another wee jack. And that was caught on a size 16 glister nymph. It's a tungsten bead. Nice wee jack. Nice. There you go, buddy. Back you go. Ready? Come on. Just trying to peer in. This little feed lane. This is what screens out trout really. What's that shape there? Trout spotted. Looks like a nice one too. One right on the feed lane, just on the bend there. Contend with here. Oh, lovely. Come on, fishy. Don't be so late. Oh, that's a nice clean fish, this one. Oh, 
There's another one up here on my bank. I mean, look at this fish here, would you? That's a quality trout. Get its head up, you might not see me coming. Got it! Brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. I may say so myself. That's a class trout, that's a class trout. Here's a tail out. Looks out. Four and a bit. Hang. Should get back in there. Thank you. Go on, right. I don't know, there's another one up here that could be slightly bigger. So that big fish was lying just down here below me. And I've moved up this far and there's another fish. I'm wondering if it's the same one. Lying out midstream, you know, it's like another good fish, it's quite dark. If he doesn't take straight away, I just assume it's the same fish. I won't give it too much time. Position with the willow here and straight away. Yeah, he's feeding, that's a good fish. Well, what are we going to do? What's going to happen here? Look at those snags there. Now, the, a trout with a bit of an house will be straight in there. Let's see this one's got the house. Lose me. jump for them to do. Normally when they jump like that, they haven't got a whole heap of energy. I don't want this trout to have a whole heap of energy in these tight confines. Big jack down in condition, but still a handsome fish. Nice big green back on it. Come on, bud. This way. Nothing more than they need to do. Just doing the, the head down, bending themselves to the current, putting all that pressure on your line. They don't need to do any more than that. A little size 16 pheasant tails stuck in there. It's amazing how, how they stick. Oh, yeah. And that's a good jackfish of about going towards five pound. Four and a half pound. Four and a half pound jack. Seen better days, but still a good fish. 